Hello and welcome to a look at Micro Machines for the Amiga, a game that was developed and released by Codemasters and it is a racing game featuring miniature vehicles as much as it can but it also includes other mobile units which are not related to cars but are still capable of being used in a racing environment. Yeah. It was sustainable. Michael Machines can be played one or two players, and uh, when you are playing two players, you can play head to head, whereas you will be raising each other across the same tracks as being used in the challenge mode, which is the single player game. And the way the races are determined in those games, the head to head games, is that both cars will be on the same track and on the same screen, I should say, and if one car is performing significantly better than the other car, then uh, the other car will be off screen and the car, the, the player forcing the other player's car to be off screen will get a bonus. And once the way this race is done, a winner will be determined and the bonuses will be impactful in that regard. But because I'm by my lonesome, I am playing a, a single player game and I chose Mike because he's of the characters available, the one that resembles me the most. Wouldn't exactly claim he's a spitting image, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. In the single player game you have to choose your opponents and the different opponents have various different skill levels and uh, strengths and weaknesses based on the micro machines being used. And you can uh, tailor the game as you see fit in that regard, but in challenge mode you will eventually have to challenge um, every other driver. So of course you can always be a bit cheesy and always play the character that you find to be the most difficult to beat. And that way that character is out of the equation and of course that is one way to tailor the difficulty level a bit. The concept of micro machines as you have probably gathered from the video by now is that you are raising miniature vehicles of some description in a miniature um, environments which are somewhat unique. The first race takes uh, takes place on the kitchen table, whereas the track is defined by cereal. The obstacles are honey being spilled on the kitchen table and various plates and cups and fruits and waffles and whatnot. They're quite thematically cutesy and um, the different tracks will feature one of the different uh, settings depending on the car and um, if you for instance get uh, the Formula 1 vehicle it will be on the pool table and the buggies and similar saddle cars will be on the, the sandy beach where obstacles will be related to beach equipment like buckets and shovels and sand castles and that kind of stuff. But the different vehicles are not just different in looks, they will definitely behave quite um, unique based on the vehicle type. And as you can probably guess, a buggy is significantly slower than a Formula 1 car. and. Um, 
the tracks that you are racing on will be designed in such a way as to enable you to utilize the car to its maximum um, ability. Obviously, fast cars are being challenged by um, different types of curves and bends and jumps and all that kind of stuff, so it's not going to be straight line only, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, obviously, or oh, there wouldn't be much reason to play the game if it didn't challenge you. Let's get the technical aspect out of the way first and foremost. From a graphical point of view, this game is deliberately made in a somewhat cutesy style. The characters are funky to look at and they have various different responses as to when they win or not win. And it can be more or less entertaining to look at. The micro machines are obviously representations of existing or fantasy vehicles and as such the miniature setup thing looks quite um, accurate and very, very charming in its own way. The different tracks they are um, easy to recognize what scenarios they are supposed to reflect and what setting they are supposed to reflect and of course the different obstacles based on the different tracks are fairly accurate to what you would expect from such a setting. The graphics are not awesome, epically amazing, but they are definitely on a better scale of graphics for the Amiga. Music and sound, music is composed of uh, or comprised whatever of jingles mainly. And of course, you have the title music, which is funky and upbeat, and the jingles are. Um, Attuned to how you are performing, you will have one type of jingle if you are winning and one type of jingle if you are not winning. And uh, sound effects uh, can be a bit annoying. Sound effects of uh, car engines or vehicle engines, I should say, is perfectly acceptable. But uh, when you're racing against computer drivers and they keep bumping into each other, you will be uh, plagued by that sound as you are playing. Nothing distracting, it's just uh, definitely noticeable. Controls. The controls can feel a bit floaty, I have to admit, but it is only a question of getting used to set controls. And of course, the individual controls of the individual vehicles is something about um, trial and error, basically. Just because a car can go fast doesn't mean that it has to go fast, and in that regard, the controls are adequate. I would say I wouldn't necessarily say they're super tight, but they are perfectly adequate for what they need to be. As you've probably gathered by now, Micro Machines is a very heavily themed game, and if you do not find the theme, enjoyable or appealing in some sort of way, then you might not find the game enjoyable or appealing. As overhead racers go, there is an awful lot available, and most of them are of a uh, questionable quality, but Micro Machines definitely belongs to the top end of the pack. Something that I found interesting was the fact that many games of this type have a uh, AI, whatever you call it, that basically has a fixed racing line that the other racers will stick to, and you find that even though you drive virtually perfect, you can still find it extremely difficult to catch up or remotely have a chance to win based on the fact that the game is effectively half cheating. That is not something that is present in this version, much to my positive surprise. I did a few races where I was hopelessly behind and yet 
Um, just putting a bit of effort into it, I found that I was catching up relatively, not easily, but uh, easier than I expected. Meaning that even though sometimes it can feel like you are not getting anywhere, practice and practice and practice and you will eventually find that you will win the races and progress in the game. And in that regard, the pacing feels well balanced and uh, overall, Micro Machines is a very enjoyable little racing game. On that note, thanks for watching, take care, see you next time. Bye bye for now.